Okay, uh, hey guys um, and gals. Um, I thought I'd do a quick, uh, quick little thing on uh, Uridine Maestro. Um, this uh, I'm going to open up Uridine Maestro here. Uh, just a couple of things on uh, the different fault codes um, for Uridine. Um, I know a lot of us uh, are removing like the secondary air injection and the and the EVAP systems and removing a bunch of stuff. And we can actually get rid of some of those codes by using Uridine. Now, I just opened uh, Maestro here, and you can see it, I need an upgrade. But uh, for those of you that may already know or don't know, this upgrade button doesn't work. Um, it'll, it, it never works for me anyway. So I just ignore it, and when I need to upgrade, I go to their website and uh, download it from there. So I'm just going to open up real quick here one of my uh, one of my older files um, that I've got, and I'm going to open that up and bring everything up. So there's a couple of different ways to uh, to get rid of your fault codes. Um, over here you have uh, let's say you you've um, deleted your secondary air injection possibly, and uh, there's there's going to be some fault codes. So one of the things you can do is you can see this comes up over here, your SAE uh, configuration, and you see here there's a couple of spots where you can get rid of, say, uh, fault detection. You can turn that off. SAE configuration, you can turn that off. If, you're, if you've removed your EVAP system, you can shut the diagnostics off here. You can do the uh, leak detection, EVAP configuration, so on and so forth. And um, so that's that's one way to get rid of some of your codes. Now, when I did mine, it didn't get rid of all my codes. So what I had to do is I had to go over here. You can see there's also a listing under diagnostics for fault codes. And if you open that up, you can see it'll bring up all the different fault codes. And there's fault codes here, of course, for, for uh, just about everything. Of course, you don't want to defeat anything that, that you um, want to protect against, obviously. But here's a couple here. Here's uh, a lot of your secondary air inlet valves, secondary air injection. If you get any of these codes over here, these P14, uh, like a 434, you can go over here and you'll see there's a fault class. And if you click on that, basically it'll open up. Come on. It'll open up very slow here. Probably my laptop. Try it again. Here we go. Um, you'll see I can actually go up to uh, 255, I believe. Um, the higher the number, um, the higher the uh, priority, basically. So this is set at three. If I want to defeat that fault code, I set it at zero and then commit the changes. And that will now uh, basically blank out or cover up that fault code. You won't get that fault code anymore. Uh, there's, uh, there's more here for your secondary air injections. There's more here for, say, uh, EVAP. Here are the EVAP um, codes here. If you need any of those, or if you get any of those codes and you've defeated or deleted your EVAP, um, you can defeat those codes here. Now, you can also buy the sort of cheater resistors that you plug into the different connections that you've removed. So it sort of fools the system thinking it's still there. Um, but uh, if, if you don't want to purchase the uh, purchase the little cheater resistors, basically, or you can buy the resistors at a at a uh, you know electronic store or something like that. Uh, but you can also, if you have uridine, this is a pretty good method to just defeat those. Uh, one other thing is, I found uh, that you also may have to use the fault codes under the carb type here. I had a, when I removed my SAE or S, SAI, my secondary air injection, I also removed the relay. And the relay, the power relay that drives that system, 
um, the code kept on coming up and it was uh, this code here, secondary in air injection system relay fault. So I had to zero that out um, on mine. You can see I've zeroed it here. Uh, you'll also notice that here's the 418, but if you go back to the standard fault codes, there is no 418 up here. So you have to look in both places, even the just the fault codes and also the fault code carb type. And you can look here and change any of these fault codes, change any of the different fault class and make them uh, not only a non-priority, but also to defeat those codes from coming up. And you just basically, again, commit those changes. And then, of course, you'll have to save your file. Uh, and that'll save all those settings then also. All right, so that's about it. I just wanted to uh, let everybody know that that's available because uh, I, I had to do a little research myself. I wasn't sure how, uh, how that actually worked, but... Uh, this Eurodyne software is certainly uh, good software for all kinds of different parameters. All right. Thanks a lot. Talk to you later.